Hello viewers, in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to create press one survey campaign. What is press one survey campaign? In auto dial, once the customer answers the call, we are giving the option to press a digit if he is interested before sending the call to an agent or anger or opt for a DNT. Also survey campaign can be used to take survive that is which customers are interested. Later you can download the report and call back them. Also you can use it for voice broadcasting. What are the prerequisites required? 1. VCDL admin credentials. 2nd. VCDL Linux console with root access. Then voice file in 8 kilo at 16 bit mono PC dot wave format. You can use either WavePad or Digit Online Converter to convert your voice file to the above set format. Step 1 In step 1, log in as an admin to the visitor screen and enable the central sound. You can find it under Admin System Settings. Then enter the sound web server that is your server IP. Let's, I will show you how to copy the same. Go to your admin settings. Click on the system settings and scroll down, enable central sound, enable it, then enter your IP address, this is your server IP, if you are accessing public IP, it should be public IP, if you are accessing the local, this should be your server IP, local server IP, scroll down, so once you submit, your audio store will be enabled. So you can see the audio store button here. Okay, click on the audio store. Now what is the step two? Step two, upload the voice file, the file we converted under admin audio store. Once uploaded, you need to run the below command to sync the voice file to the database. Then choose the file. So here I collect survey.voice. So once uploaded, you can see the size of the file. This means you successfully uploaded the file. Now run the command. USR share as you type admin audio store iPhone debug X. So here you can see the file is synced or not. So otherwise, yeah, it's synced. Now step three. Now we are going to create a campaign, survey campaign. So only difference between the normal campaign and survey campaign is the routing extension 8366 or 8373. 8373 will do the answering machine detection, 8366 will not detect the answering machine. Then select the audio file in the survey tab. Yeah, I will show you in the GUI. Click on the campaign, add a new campaign. Let's name it survey. I can survey campaign. Select allow closer no. Minimum offer to 3000, 2000 based on your requirement. Then next agent call. What call time? So I select 24 hours. Submit. Now, couple of changes required in the details view. First thing is dial method. By default, campaign will be in the manual mode. Select the ratio and scroll down. Enter your dial prefix as per your carrier settings dial plan. Then now change the routing extension to A366. If you have doubt what is this, just click on the L. You can see the details of the routing extension. So now we are going to If you want answering machine detection, change it to A373. Okay. Now select A366. If you want recording, on demand recording, enable it. Scroll down. Scroll down. Now we can select the no upper leads login. Submit. So normal campaign is done. Now we have to do changes for the survey. So click on the survey tab, then select the audio file which we have uploaded. Survey voice. So this is the file which we played once customer answer. Now we need to enter the digits which customer can press. So here you are allowed to give one, two, three, nine, zero, star, ash, whatever. And we need to mention which digits customer can press or not interested. So I am giving nine here. How long the customer can wait if they are not pressing any digit? How long they can wait in the queue? So 10 seconds. 
this is the opt-in file once they press interested what file to be played either you can upload your own voice or we can delete it then if they press not interested what we can play thanks no contact now what is the survey method once they press one interested what you have to either send the call to an agent or voicemail or a call you know or just hang up or recording so in this tutorial i'm showing how the call will land to the agent now the third option opt-in opt-out so what is the difference with opt-in opt-in will send the customer calls who pressed one opt-out will also send the customer who not pressed any digits so we need only the customer who press interest opt-in select opt-in and server now what is the status to be given if they press nine not interested leave it over these files these are not required just click submit done now we need to assign the list database to the campaign select the survey campaign active done now login as an agent you can see the feed in action let me login as an agent two zero one password now select the campaign you are currently the only nice. person in this conference once I press resume immediately I will get a call if interested press 1 if not interested press 2 I am pressing I'm press 1 to so call will end thank you Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like, share it.